Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be day 18 of the 31 Days of Tarot. I didn't post this yesterday because I'm just barely filming it today. <laughs> I was really busy yesterday doing readings and just, you know, um, exploring my new town and just getting used to, you know, driving around and getting familiar with the streets and what streets lead where and whatnot. So it was really just like a random like day all over the place for me yesterday. So let's get into day 18. So 18's prompt is, um, what, what cards in the tarot do I relate to personally, not just from my astrology sign? So, um, I don't know what day it was that we talked about, like what tarot cards, um, I relate to from my zodiac signs, but, um, some of those cards are going to be in this pile that I picked here, but let's just jump right into it. So these are in no particular order. I'm just going to go through them really quickly. The Hermit, I relate to the Hermit energy not just because he relates to my more emotional sign, but because I um, I come off as a really like chitty chatty person. I come off as really, you know, vibrant and loud and <laughs> social and this and that. But what I really enjoy is spending a lot of time by myself. And I do spend a lot of time by myself. Me and my husband have <clears throat> very different work schedules so um when he's at work i'm home when i'm home he's at work and you know we do have the same days off together which is where we do devote a lot of our time together and then the mornings but other than that it's kind of like we're you know coming and going at different times so i do spend a great deal of my days in hermit mode i'm by myself a lot um the High Priestess. This is the card that <clears throat> I really resonated with that I wanted to be more like when I was learning the tarot. So the High Priestess plays a very significant role in my tarot journey. The, <clears throat> the Fool. The Fool card is significant to me personally because he's all about taking risks and taking chances. And <sighs> I would say in 2015, I did a big chance by... Um, cutting my hours. I was working full time at a library and I cut them in half to work part time. And ever since I went part time, I never went back full time. So that was a big leap of faith for me because I was seeing enough money coming in with Cackling Moon that it would suffice the hours that I would be missing that I was cutting from my day job so I can make more time for tarot. So the full card plays a huge role in that. It is just the card that factors in the need to for me to remember that I have to take risks and I have to be uncomfortable in order to gain whatever it is that I want. Um, the next one is the Hierophant. He's huge for me. <laughs> he was, when I was first learning the tarot, he was the one card that I absolutely could not stand. Um, I hated the Hierophant and I realized later on and as I was doing like inner work on myself, that the Hierophant signified a lot of the up, upbringing that I was raised in, my conservative lifestyle, my conservative family. Um, he represented a lot of that kind of stuff, my faith, my, my religious beliefs. So he has a very significant and strong role in, my, um, in me. <clears throat> the Six of Swords, I pulled this one because I've constantly saw myself having to drift away and get away from stressful situations. The Six of Swords is heavy for me. When I am un uncomfortable, whether it was like in my home life or financially in a job, um, even in friendships, there was certain, certain friendships I had to walk away from. There were jobs I walked away from. Um, to me, it's like Six of Swords represents that. It represents me taking care of myself. So that was very like very important to me. <laughs> I actually really like the six of swords. I know a lot of people like when they see it, sometimes they cringe in readings. And for me, it's like, nope, that's a need for me to check in with myself. The next one is the devil. The devil plays a huge role in me, not just for like joking around and whatnot, you know, with family issues and whatnot, but it's like more of me setting myself free. And whenever I see the devil pop up in my readings for myself, I see him as he's, he's showing me that it's like, I'm resorting back to, um, more negative mindsets or, um, I'm putting myself back into a cage when I was like, worked so hard to set myself free, that kind of thing. 
the moon card, obviously. This, the moon card has to be in my pile for me. It's my favorite card in the tarot. I feel like the moon represents my love. Sorry. <laughs> I have my window open to air out my room. So, and literally like the streets right there. Um, I have <laughs> the moon card represents moon cycles. I love everything about the moon. I love the moon cycle. My menstrual cycle and the moon is a big one recently. Um, just a lot. There's, there's just a lot of like little factors that this moon card represents for me personally. And I just have so many connections to the moon that I love that I had to base the moon in my little business name, the cackling moon. So um, it would be silly to not have that card in this little pile. <laughs> and then last but not least, the Ten of Swords. Um, this is such a problematic card. It is scary. It is a scary card. Um, but the Ten of Swords to me represents my reminder to myself that sometimes I have to surrender to my own fears. That is probably the biggest lesson that I have learned, that I have been learning, and that I am still continuously learning to this day is surrendering to my fears because if I don't surrender to them, I am not going to grow and outgrow them. So, um, facing fears has been a major lesson for me, at least I would say the last two years. And, um, I can honestly say from experience that when you are facing your fears, you do gain so much more. So, Anyways, you guys, those are the few cards that I picked. I'm pretty sure I could relate to every single card in the tarot, but when I was like quickly going through the pile, those are the ones that I that I that just I found I was like, okay, no, I need to grab these. These are the ones that really represent me in some aspect. Um, so let me know what cards you represent you guys. Comment below. Love to see love to hear you guys' responses. I love getting your comments and stuff. So I will talk to you later and we will do 19 next. Bye, loves.